What's going on guys? Welcome to Shooting a Shave. It's been a few days since I've had a shave. I think it's about been about three days. And I got some growth here that's got to go. So I'm going to use tonight my uh, Merker 34C here. I got an Astra blade in there on its fourth use. The soap I'm going to go with tonight is going to be Barrister and Man's Bay Rum. And the brush I'm going to go with tonight is going to be my, uh, uh, what is this? It's a, uh, what the hell is this? <laughs> Oh, it's my Vanderhagen brush. My goodness, I, I don't ever use this, so uh, I forgot what brush it is. So it's the Vanderhagen brush tonight. Let me go ahead and get some of this bloom water out and we'll go ahead and get started. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot what brush it is. It's funny. I hardly ever use that brush. It was like the first brush I ever got. It's been a while since I've used it, so... Figure I'd give it some love tonight. All right, let's go ahead and load up the brush here. Whoop, almost dropped my soap. Okay, so I had to write these ingredients down because I could never remember all this. Uh, the ingredients, or the scent in this is real blackstrap rum with West Indie Bay, sweet orange cinnamon, and benziana vanilla-like resin. And uh, I don't know if you, this soap is available right now because I saw on their website that there was like a, what is it, a global bay oil shortage. And uh, I think the soap that they're saying that you can get instead of it is the Reserve Spice. So check that one out if you like, bay, uh, if you like uh, this bay rum scent. I believe it's supposed to be restocked. It said something about it being restocked once, once, the, uh, once the shortage stabilizes. So we'll see. The scent on in this from a one to ten, I'd say, is uh, is a five, right in the middle there. Locked and loaded. I'm gonna go right into a face lather here. Hope everybody's having a nice week. It's Wednesday night here. I'm like only a two days away from Friday, so yay. Looking forward to the weekend. It's actually a Friday, Friday for me tomorrow. I don't have to work Friday. I'm going up to New York. I'm going to uh, Pasteur's for my birthday. I like this scent. Very nice scent. Very cinnamony. It's not like your traditional bay rum scent with a lot of clove. Which makes it a little different. But I like it. This is a nice little brush for uh, for how much it costs. It's only a $15 brush. I mean, it's doing a pretty good job. I don't know why I don't use this more. I just always see it in there and I never reach for it. I don't know why. It's not because I don't like it. Nice little brush. Looks good. Let me uh, dry off my hands here real quick. All right, we're gonna go for our first pass here.
for a fourth use on this blade, that's feeling pretty good. I don't usually use blades past uh, three uses. Figured I'd try it, try to use blades a little longer, see what I can get out of them. Now that my technique with the safety razor has improved, watch me cut myself now. Good audio feedback tonight. A lot of growth to get through though. Very nice first pass. Go ahead and lather up here for the second one. I really enjoy the scent of this soap. I love bay rum. Second pass here, across the growth. Man, this uh, use on this, uh, this fourth use here on this Astra Blade, it's really nice. No tugging or pulling. I've never used a blade, I think I said it earlier, but I've never used a blade past uh, three uses, so it's, so I'm surprised. Looks good. Do a feel about here. Not a whole lot to pick up. I could probably pick it up all on the third pass here. I'm gonna go ahead and go for it. Get some of the excess cream out of the puck here. There's a ton of it in here. Can't let it go to waste. Ah, that smells nice. I like the smell of that. Some of the Barrister and Man soap. You either like them or you hate them, but I like Barristern, man. I haven't found one yet that I'm not crazy about. Or that I don't like, I mean. All right, get some of the soap to the top here and go ahead and lather up.
good. And I got soap all over the shirt here. I think I might have made that lather a little too watery. Or had a little too much water in the lather. All right, third pass against the grow or against the grain here. My beard grows in all different directions over here against the growth would be up this way and up this way under my neck. Excellent. Only one little spot there. Barrister and Man has great residual slickness, so you can go ahead and just go over spot a bunch of times. <laughs> Beautiful. That's going to do it. Let me get rinsed up and we'll come back for the post shave. So for post shave tonight, I'm going to be using uh, Ogallala Bay Rum uh, After Shave Cologne here. We're going to give it a real good shake because I think it's got a bunch of like essential oils and stuff in there. It's got witch hazel with alcohol, purified water, bay oil, oils of clove, bud, lime, sage, rosemary, ginger, orange, cinnamon leaf, and wintergreen. So very interesting mix and probably as of right now this is one of my uh, favorite bay rum aftershave colognes here so i'm gonna put a real healthy dose on and this stuff usually burns but it's not too bad tonight very very nice scent i want that Soak in for a second there. And for post shave balm tonight, I'm gonna go with the Everyman Jack uh, Mint here and uh, put a decent amount of that on my face. Since that had winter mint in it, what the heck, I'll figure I'll put on a minty uh, aftershave balm here. And it's kinda real thick and lotiony, so. Maybe that was a little too much. So I'll just probably not be a little careful <laughs> and not to put it all on. I like the consistency of this uh, of this aftershave balm though. I don't like the really watery ones. I like the thicker aftershave balms. Make my skin feel better. I think this one's like a face lotion too. Yeah, it is. What is it? Yeah, it's a face lotion and post shave. You can get this at like any uh, 
in any shave aisle at any uh, food market store or anything like Target or something like that. So nice aftershave bomb. That's a nice minty scent to it. Not overpowering, but very, but very mild, but very pleasant. And it goes well with this, uh, with this, uh, this aftershave here that I put on pair as well. Okay. So let's do a recap real, real quick of what I used tonight. Went with the Vanderhagen brush here. Very nice brush. It actually worked really nice. Not a bad brush. I think I told it, said it before. Uh, I got that at uh, Wegmans, and I got it for uh, $15. Not a bad brush. Went with the uh, Barrister Man's Bay Rum Cologne, or Bay Rum Cologne, Bay Rum Soap. <laughs> Marker 34C here, Astra Blade on its uh, fourth use. I think I'm going to be able to get a fifth use out of that, so we'll find out next shave. Uh, Post Shave Balm, Everyman Jack, uh, Face Lotion and Post Shave Balm, Mint. Very, very nice, uh, very, very nice scent on this. And I went with the Ogallala Bay Rum Cologne. That's going to do it for tonight. I'll uh, see you guys again soon for another shave. Take care.